Hey there, what's going on? Good evening. How's everybody tonight? It's good to see your buddy. Saddlecat says hello. Hello, Saddlecat. How was your day? Hope you had a good day. Had a busy day, even though it was a day off. Had a lot of things accomplished. Trembling. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you. Hope you had a good day as well. Just a second, we'll get everything rolling here. So tonight, we are going to step foot in level 7 for the first time. Last couple episodes, we worked our way through level 5, level 6... Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope that's better. <clears throat> Anyways, um, tonight we're going to step into level 7 for the first time. We've done level 5 and level 6 recently. And now we're going to take a dive into the unknown with level 7. Level 7 is one of those levels that I don't remember much about um, from playing years ago. I think, I, you know, I know I mapped it. Um, but that's probably about the extent of it. I don't remember there being much on level 7. Maybe a few more Easter egg type things. I don't know. I'm not looking at my notes actively. So I don't have spoilers handy. Um, but we're going to see what's on it tonight. Like I said, I know most of the hardcore wizardry players tend to skip over level 5, 6, 7, and 8. But for the sake of completion, we're going to go ahead and just check it all out see what monsters are down there and all that good stuff. Excuse me. So let's go ahead and we'll jump right into it, as a matter of fact. I really love seeing everything, Settlecat says. Yeah, I know. And um, a lot of people do. So when I put these um, videos on YouTube, which I do a couple days after I, I stream them live, I um, always put in the description what's, you know, being done. That way, um, if anybody wants to see a certain level or a certain thing, they can do that. All right. Good. I'm glad it was a nice day for you. All right. So first things first, we're going to go to the inn and rest. We're just going to go ahead and speed through it and actually use money to stay at the inn rooms proper. Just to save some time. And I don't think we have anything to sell. We'll just check and see. I don't. I don't remember. Uh, staff plus two. We didn't need that, so we'll sell that. Tried using the staff of flame, a rod of flame, the other day, and it didn't do anything. Which is not the way I remember the game working. So I don't know if that's a broken thing or what. So here we go into the maze. And of course, we're going to go down to level four, and then we'll take the express elevator down to level seven. One thing I just noticed walking through that first hallway is that, you know, there was decorations on the side of the, uh, the hallway, which is something that's, that's never been there in Wizardry before this release. And I almost wonder if the devs didn't put that in just so new players would have some sort of landmark to look at, you know, to let them know they were headed the right way if they're trying to get back to town. So we're going to have to fight three little spiders to get to the elevator. Should be a pretty quick and easy fight. Found a chest. I believe it's armed with a gas bomb. We got armor. Frodet got some armor. Let's go ahead and see if it's anything cool. 
So we will give this armor to Shorty. It's a breastplate plus one. So let me let me look at a few things here. What do we got? Breastplate plus one. Yeah, no. Nothing good but for selling. Spooters. Shadow Cat says spooters. So we have a gas dragon and some priests. We're going to go ahead and do a Mac attack on these guys. Oh, but the gas dragon's going to get a... Oh, we got it. There we go. Another chest. Armed with blades. Plate mail. Okay. Down to floor seven. And again, this is a spot we've not been to yet. So we'll see what awaits us down here. All right, so first things first. I'm gonna cast Low Milwa for the light spell that we can see the hidden doors. And we're gonna Lita here. Doesn't use a lot of magic, so she'll cast Duma Pick. So we can see where we're at. So we're 10 east, zero north, bottom of the map, right in the center. And we are facing east. So let's let's go east. Five robed women. What do we have here? Arch mages. Oh. So this this could be interesting. I'm gonna cast a Montino here just in case it might help them help mute them. Don't usually have a lot of luck with that spell. So two of them were silenced. I'll take that. These are pretty tough for mages. me up there. What do we have? Trapless chest. Oh, no, hang on. Inspect. We didn't. Yeah, we did inspect. Thinks it's trapless. No trap found. Merlin receives robes. Just plain old robes. So I'm not seeing any any vibrating walls. Oh, well, here we are. So we got two hidden doors and another hallway. Hmm. Let's... And a hidden door at the end of the hallway. So chances are we're going to come back here when we head back to the elevator. So let's, let's proceed this way. Another hidden door right in front of me. What we got here? Oh, okay. Oh, so which way do we want to go? I'm going to leave it up to the viewers. Do we want to go through the hidden door? Do we want to go north or south? Hidden door, north or south? Let me know what y'all want to do. I'm up for anything. Hidden. Shadow Cat says hidden. So we'll go through the hidden door. And it's a room with one, two, three more hidden doors. So, we want to go north, west, or south. North, west, or south. North. Okay. So, okay, so north is not far from where we were before. We have another hidden door here. Since we're playing with hidden doors, Let's go ahead and uh, go go for it. And so I've got a room with a door, pillars, open spaces. I'm going to just circumnavigate the room here. Oh, what's that? So I've seen that before. That's a graphical glitch. And the last time I saw that was because there was a, a wall with a staircase in it. So I wonder if these are the stairs up or down. 
It's so strange that I can't see it from there. Another beside you. Yeah. Five robe men. Five level seven mages. Hmm. We're going to use our Litokan spell and I am a Halito, I think. Try to knock these guys out pretty quick. The hidden door you came out of just had another hidden door beside it. Okay. Looks like the Hidden Doors is the name of the game here. <laughs> so weird. So yes, there's stairs leading down to level 8. Okay, so this room is just all about these little things here. Oh, oh, look at that. It was nasty. Pit trap in the in the thing there. Hmm. All right, so now I've got to heal up. Wilma's hurt pretty bad. Merlin's hurt. Tell you what, let's burn Shorty's uh, healing spells first. Boy, that, that pit really hurt too. Makes me nervous to go in like the other the other uh, isolated rooms up here. Got one more. Give it to Wilma. <coughs> Excuse me. So nothing in, in this one. Okay, we have an encounter here. Priest, masked woman, and a leather-clad man. Oh, masked women are ninjas. Five, six, okay. And a master thief. Oh, hmm. Yeah, let's, um, man, I don't want to burn that, but I will. Gee, I never know what to expect with some of these higher level ones. I don't want to risk instant death here. Blades. Frodette failed to disarm the trap. What is Frodette's problem here with this chest? There we go. So wait a minute. Something's not right. All right. I think there was a teleporter in that room. Because that was supposed to be a one-by-one one room. Oh, yeah, it was. Look. Oh, look. So, yes, that left room there teleported us to the lower right-hand corner. Which... Wait a minute. So... Look at this. Watch this. I was in the lower right-hand corner, but it's a 2x2 a two two room, so that means I should have actually now looked at all four corners of the map. Crazy. That's so cool. So the stairs up to level 6 are here. Okay. So let's go through here. And we are now in the lower right left-hand corner of the map. Three tigers. Where tigers? <laughs> Hit him with a Dalto. That was effective. Hey there, welcome to the stream. If you have any questions, feel free to drop it in the chat. I'll be happy to answer to the best of my ability. I can answer most questions about wizardry, proving grounds to the Mad Overlord, but I'm not an expert at all on this new remaster, so to speak. I'm still learning, just like everybody else. What's different? What's new? All right, let's go in the door. 
Excuse me. Two robed men. Are they archmages again? Level seven mages. We're going to try to take these guys out pretty quick. They have some nasty spells at level seven. There we go. Wasn't too bad. Got another chest. I like the chests. Poison Needle. So what we had here was just a big goose chase of a room. Oh, with two exits. So we've, we've sort of been this way, so let's go this way. Okay. Go this. One frightening creature. Well, multiple frightening creatures in a row. So this is cool. This is clever. Oh, my. Okay, before we start this fight, I want to talk about these guys. There's a couple things going on here. <clears throat> these are life stealers. If these are what I think they are... This is so freaking cool. They can drain levels off characters. So I have Kyler as a level 11 fighter. They can take him down to level 10. Just like that. Also, because they're undead, the game knows people are going to want to dispel them. They want to turn the undead. And I believe that that ability, you have to pick a group of monsters to do that too. And because they're, they're split up like that, a party of one, a party of one, a party of one, you can only dispel one at a time, which makes the encounter harder. I could be wrong about that. I know some wizardry games work that way, and I think this one does too. Let's find out. We're going to dispel. Yep, I have to select a group to attack. Shorty can dispel. Frodat, and what are we going to do here? So death chance for all monsters with Lacanito. I don't think these monsters breathe. I'm not sure if that that is actually a um, if that's actually taken into consideration or not. Let's just see how we do. All right, killed a life stealer. We dispelled two. Okay, we're. We're going to be okay. All right, nobody lost a level. Okay. That was that was that was fun. But that's a cool example of some of the tactics that the game uses to throw players off. And I just want to see where we're at the map. I think we went over the the boundary of the map there. No, no, we did not. Okay. So now we did. Okay, so this this hallway goes across the whole room. It goes east to west. And I, knowing the symmetrical design of a lot of the uh, the levels, I bet you this hallway goes north and south, and I bet you the one east of the middle room goes north and south. Let's just uh, let's just see if we're right. Hidden doors everywhere. Oh, look at oh, look at that nastiness. It's nasty. I hate those things. That's a great way to burn your healing. In fact, it killed Merlin. It killed Merlin. But look at this. We can bring Merlin back. with the die spell. And Merlin is back. And we can use this Matty spell to restore him to full hit points. Fantastic. No more trips to town just because <clears throat> one character dies. But I'm out of the good healing spell now. So we have to be careful. 
about to run out of dial as well. Six leather clad men. I tell you though, I don't think it's going to be long before we go back to town to rest up. This level siphoning my spells off pretty quickly. I'm out of I'm out of that level, so I'm out of nope, I still got a Mahalato. And we have Mahalato here. Or Mahalito, I think is how the developer actually pronounces it. There we go. Mahalito <clears throat> to the rescue. Alright, so where am I exactly? Okay, so I'm here. Boom, boom, boom. Keep going this way. And so now I should be And that, yes, right there. If we get to do documentary stuff, I'm going to make sure to ask everyone we film to pronounce the spells. So I, I talked to um, Robert Woodhead uh, a long time ago now, maybe back in 2014, maybe even before that. It was whenever Wizardry Online came out. And he said, Mahalito, Lahalito. That's a quote. Um, so that's how he pronounced it. Which, you know, I guess... No, he's the authority on it. <clears throat> so lots of hidden stuff. Did we go through? No. We did not. Oh, oh, look at that. Wait a minute. We hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I already went through there and there was not a pit there earlier. Look at that. There's a teleport. Six east, 13 north, teleported me to 13 east, 13 north, which is where there was a, a pit trap. So you think you're going north on the left side and it teleports you to the right side in an identical hallway to get you with the pit trap. <laughs> that's, that's fantastic. All right, so. Let me regroup here. How are we going to... We need to go home, and we need to rest up. And we are going to do that through here. <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. So, Panda, thanks for joining. I really appreciate it. It's always nice to see you. I need to um, post on the forums... I did uncover a few oddities last night while playing, and I'll go ahead and report those, what, what appear to be bugs. All right. Okay, okay, so I'm going to visit the inn. Rest everybody up. We're going to go back. We'll try to finish this, this floor out. You know, it, it's a lot of wide open spaces in this level. So, we might knock this one out in record time. Watch out for that teleporter, though. That was... A nasty trick. I love it. This is back from the era where in D&D the Dungeon Masters really made it a personal goal to kill their players. You know, of course, these days the D&D mentality is a bit different than that. Community has been awesome for that. I'm used to people being a little grumpy about bugs, but everyone's been so nice and extremely helpful. Well, that's the way it should be. You know, when you tag a game as early access and you come out up front and tell people, hey, there's going to be bugs here, I think the majority of people know what they're getting into. You know, especially when you have a game like this, where the 
core audience is probably going to be very passionate about the game. They want to see it do well. I do. I want this to be a huge success. And just judging from the amount of people posting in Steam on the discussion forums alone, I haven't even looked at the GOG forums. Um, I'm seeing a, a lot more activity than I would have expected to see, which makes me smile because wizardry is a passion of mine. It kills me that all of the Japanese games have not been brought to the U.S. I know they never will. Some of them will, but not all of them. And um, I, I'm, I'm just, I love it so much. You know, I'm guilty of using the uh, Google Translate through the camera on my phone to translate the text, Japanese text, on the screen of Japanese wizardry games into English just so I can play. I've actually done that. Hey there, welcome to the stream. That's because you're dedicated. No, that's probably because I'm crazy. That's that's why. Like, you know, I work with a young lady uh, who is from Japan. And instead of, um, you know, something normal, the first impulse I had when I met her was like, hmm, how much can I pay her to sit next to me while I play a Japanese wizardry game so she can tell me what's on the screen? Like, that's a true story. All right, so let's see where we're at. I'm sure Dracom is paying close attention to our metrics. I really hope so. And if I could buy this game a second time, I would. Dang, I missed a true SR. A true SR. What do you mean by that, Saddle Cat? All right, let's go this way this time. Oh, I missed a true story by stepping away. All I said is I wish um, the my first, I'm so dedicated that my first impression when meeting Kumiko, you know, wasn't to say something normal, but it was to ask her how much I had to pay her to sit down next to me so I could play a Japanese wizardry game and she could translate to me what's on the screen. That's uh, That's how obsessed I am with this series. <laughs> okay, so what do we have? We have a little hallway of one one by one rooms here. Is there going to be anything at the middle? Probably not. Nope, I was not disappointed. Let's just walk down this hallway to say we walk down it. All right, we got to be careful. Because at this intersection is the teleporter. Well, let's go ahead and go in here. Sorry, the send button is right next to the delete button. That's what Saddle Cat says. What do we have here? What do we have here? I saw something interesting up there. Let's get rid of these, these thieves. Master thieves. Anytime I see the word Master Thief, it reminds me of some weird school video that we watched in like the third grade. When they used, back in the 80s, they used to wheel the big media card in the room and it was some, some I don't know if it was folk tales or what the, the subject was, but it was about this guy who was a Master Thief and he made a bet with somebody that he could steal his wife's wedding rings right off of her finger while they slept. So yeah, I, this is one of the things I was talking about. There's some graphical oddities. I know that in the room just north of me is a stairway, but it seems like the texture wants to butt out of the, you know, of the wall. I've seen that a few times. So in itself, not game breaking, right? But it does kind of let people know uh, they'll figure it out sooner or later, and they'll so someone who may not have already been there will know that the stairs are one room north of them, even if they've not uncovered it on their own. So it's game-breaking in that aspect. Well, 
let's let's go ahead and go in here. Darkness. It's fixed for the October update. Uh oh. Look at here, that's a one way door. I can't get out the way I came in. Oh, level six ninjas. We're going to le no, you know, let's no, we're gonna save Lorto in case we need the healing on that level. Let's lead Okan these guys. And a Mahalato from Merlin. Mahalito. I correct myself. Mahalito. Yeah, so Robert Woodhead was nice enough to, you know, correct my pronunciation on several things, including the name of the game world, which I always pronounce Lil Gaiman, which he corrected me and said it was Lil Gaman. Lil Gaman. He said the idea, there we go. He said the idea was to do a mock Welsh uh, for the language, which Welsh is a language I'm not personally that familiar with. So I'll, I'll take his word on that. Okay, so I've noticed my, the darkness I believe killed my light spell. <clears throat> So I figured out that's what that that noise is. That that roaring noise I hear sometimes, I think is the spells wearing off. Uh, what is that? That looks that looks trappy. Where am I? Yes, that was it. That was the pit right there. So let's see what's in this room. Oh, no, no, no. I hate that. All right. The spells have a, a, a hair trigger with this controller. Forgive my erratic walking. I'm doing that to fill in gaps on the map there. Wow, so this is a big fight right here. Six high priests and an armored man. We're going to assume they're all under level 8, and we're going to do, use a, a Macanito, or a Macanito spell. Mac attack is what we used to call it when I was a kid. Oh, so these guys are not level 8 or below. Oh, we have a Champ Samurai. Oh, this is good. Champ Samurai. So let's kick it up a notch, and let's use the Lacanito, Lacanito spell. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope, take that back, because that only does a group. How do we want to do this? We're going to go ahead and do a Lorto on the High Priests. Shorty's going to do a... AC penalty to the samurai, and we will do a Dalto. Yeah, look at that. <clears throat> All right, I'm feeling better about this fight now. That Lorto spell is awesome. The animation is just like one big blade just ripping through the, the air. I always picture it as a bunch of little blades. But that's pretty cool. It reminds me of um, the, uh, what's it called? Zankentutsen or whatever from Final Fantasy. The uh, big blade spell that Odin uses reminds me of that. So there's no hidden doors in here that I see. 
A group of friendly champ samurais hails you and welcome. We'll leave in peace. Oh, here's a hidden door. And it's just another dead end room. Alright, so let's refresh. Where are we? Okay. So I think we've seen just about everything in this room. There's our exit. Now we should be one step north of that pit, which is right there. Let's go in the little room. Three strange animals. These are the Medusa lizards, right? I had a long talk about these guys last night. So one of the bugs that I encountered involved these guys. They petrified a character. They petrified um, my middle character there, Brunelita. And when the fight was over, my priest cast a um, soften spell to remove the petrification. And when I cast the spell, it locked up the UI. It, it did not remove the petrification, and it locked up the UI. Um, and it did that every time I tried it until the spell points were gone. So the only way to fix that character was to go back to town. I don't know if we can reproduce that. It's very odd. Nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna doubt tell these guys. Very nice. So we've got a one by one room with hidden doors on all sides. Oh, but look, it's a it's a standalone room. All right, so we'll go in here. What do we have? We're going to have another chain hallway. With what I'm sure is nothing at the end. Because that's the way Warden as Maze likes to uh, likes, likes to be. Wear tigers. <laughs> yeah, these guys can poison you. But I think we got a handle on it. I like the I like these guys. I like their animations. So we're back out of the little maze room area. <clears throat> and how do we... So th that step right there was the teleporter, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So let's sidestep that. More were tigers. They seem to like this level. I surprised the monsters. try to mow through these guys quick if we can. Somebody's going to get poisoned. I can feel it. Oh, and they are they, are they regenerating health? Oh, 
I just noticed that. Ah, uh, there's there's the poison. Well, one hit point. This one hit point, but. Come on, somebody hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh, we got two poison now. That should take care of him. So first things first, we're right, we gotta cure the poison. I think it's an anti-mage chest. Got a sword. Might be a cool sword. Let's take care of the poison first. Do I still have any Latumophis potions? All right, so here's another interesting bug that I have found. Um, this piece of armor that I have unidentified is either going to be a breastplate plus one, a plate mail, or a leather armor plus one. I know this because I found that I cannot identify um, mysterious items if the same item is already in my inventory. So I would have to move, if this unidentified armor is a breastplate plus one, for example, if I move the breastplate plus one out of Shorty's inventory, then Shorty will be able to identify it. All right. So I figure you guys have got a pretty good handle on all this already. I doubt I can find anything you have yet to see. So there's Latumophis Potion. Latumophis Potion. Alright, so let's see. Not sure what happened to that armor. It's gone now. Let's give this to Merlin. Let's give that to Merlin. And let's see what we really have here. Long sword. Oops. Plate mail. And a staff. Just a plain old staff. All right. Hallway with a hidden door at the end. We know what's on the other end of it. Don't sell yourself short. I haven't seen the petrify bug before. I will, um, I have that on video. Um, so I think, I can't recall if it was last night or if it was the night before. <clears throat> but it's, it's on one of my prior streams. Seems a staff. All right, something happened. Some we teleported or something. We did. Where are we? <coughs> okay, so we're now in this unexplored section with a door behind me and a hallway this way. Two leather clad men. Love the uh, victory music. Merlin receives armor. Brunelita receives armor. All right, so we got a few things to identify. Let's go ahead and do that now. Because to me, that's one of the f most fun things about the game. Who was it? Kyler had a staff. And Brunelita had an armor. 
leather armor, simple leather armor. Chainmail plus one. And just a staff, which we'll get rid of. And we'll discard that as well. All right. So again, some of these hidden doors I'm not going through because I know what's on the other side. This is, you know, my logic. Bet you this is another one by, yeah, it's another one by one. And now this we've not been through. It's going to be another chain hallway. Which when we're done with this, I think we just have one section left unexplored. Hey there, welcome to the stream. If you have any questions, just drop it in the chat. We are exploring level 7 of Proving Grounds of the Mad Overlord here. We're just going to knock these guys out real quick and get on about our day. Alright, so we are here and we have not explored any of this here. Right? Yes, this is this is the part. Probably another Medusa lizard. I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Is it like a turtle? Dragon with a tentacle. So cool. Saddle Cat, this is what happens when you don't feed your Squirtle. You need to go feed that Squirtle. Two more. Saddle Cat says, I want to pet him. I don't think he wants you to pet him. He can kill me in an instant, but he's cute, lol. Wilmo receives a scroll. Wilmo receives a mace. So I don't see a lot of maces. So I really want to see what it might be. I, I remember from the old days there was a mace that was pretty cool. I don't think we'd encounter it this low into the into the maze. Oh, that's a mace plus two though. So we'll equip that. And we will discard that. No, we're gonna give that, because I think I need to sell that. Scroll of Halito. Nice. I can't remember what the mace was called in the old days. Was it a jeweled mace, maybe? I, I don't remember. Holy mace? I don't, I don't remember what it was. <clears throat> Here's more of your favorite lizards. So this is enough where I, I'm, I feel compelled to zap them with a spell. Didn't kill any of them, though. Ooh, Brunelita is petrified. So, if Quipanda is still in the chat, he may get to see... Oh, boy, look at that. The one person that could heal the petrification is also petrified. Hmm. But he may get to see this problem in action. It's okay, because what I'm going to do, though, is I'm only going to go to town to revive Wilma, 
because I want to see if I can reproduce that problem. So getting my bearings, we need to go here. And then I think the stairs are, no, I'm not where I think I am. I need to go south one more. Yeah, I need to go down here. Oh no, look at that. I fell for it again. I am not where I thought I was. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I'm not where I thought I was. Okay, so. Okay, I know where to go now, though. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. That's the stairs, not the elevator. There's the elevator. So I actually want to go this way. <clears throat> so because I know I'm going back to town, we are just going to quickly take care of these guys. Or we're going to try to. Yeah, we're going all out. Didn't really work. This one should work. Hanging on by a thread, this guy is. Oh, Merlin's not gonna, gonna take that sitting down. There we go. Received a sword, but we're gonna we're gonna wait on that sword. We have some place to be. <clears throat> so we're almost done with this level. When we come back, we're gonna nail that few rooms that we're missing and progress. The monsters have surprised me. We have a surprise back for them in the form of that. Okay, so level four. We're not playing with a teleporter on level four because we know what dangers there are. You can be teleported to an endless loop on this level in which there's no way out of except teleporting back out, either through spell or through another chest. <clears throat> All right. So again, what we're going to do here is I'm going to go to the temple to unpetrify Wilma. But I want to see if I can reproduce that bug from the other night. So we're going to go back into the maze and try to use Wilma's magic to unpetrify Brunelita. So there's so many different variables this time, I don't know if it will make a difference or not. But we try... But you know what? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This is probably why this spell does not cure petrification. It cures sleep, hold, or paralyze. It's a different spell for petrification. But still, why did it lock up the UI? Let me see if I can reproduce that. Yeah, here we go. I tried the spell, and now I cannot move. I hear it, but I can't see it. I cannot move the cursor from character to character. So again, 
The use of the spell was wrong on my part, but the effect is still real. So to fix this, what did I do? I think I reverted to the keyboard. I think I alt-tabbed out of the game. All right, so my right buttons are working. There we go. Alt-tabbing fixed it after some more fiddling around. So very strange. I don't, you know, I'm sure other players might make that mistake because the name of the spell is softness, right? And that's what you think about when you see petrification. So I was wrong, but I'm glad I was wrong in that case because maybe that will, you know, help in the long run. All right, so Shorty has leveled up. So let's sell some things. A book. Ooh, okay, I didn't know I had that. I'm gonna sell this plate mail. I'm gonna sell this chain mail. We're gonna sell that long sword. I can tell by the price, it's just a cheap sword. I'm gonna sell the robes. I'm gonna sell the breastplate, the breastplate plus one, the mace plus one. And we go back into the maze, and we're going to finish out level 7. We're going to go ahead and knock it out. After I see what this book is. Who had the book? Tyler had the book. Shorty. Is going to... Book of Badios. Badios. Badios, I guess. We're going to move Brunelita back to her home. Move Shorty back to his home. Wilma back to her home. There we go. Everybody is right where we want them. One more trek to level seven. We have some undead kobolds here. We'll go right through them. Oof. All right. <clears throat> wow, that's the first time there's not been a fight in that room. So we have some daimyos, daimyo, I think that's how we say it. Hey there, welcome to the stream. If you have any questions, feel free to drop it in the chat. I will do my best to answer down to level seven to finish this level out. All right, so let's cast our low middle of spell to light up the dark dungeon. And then we will cast our Duma pick just to so, oh no, there is more, there's one more, there's two more sections to explore. The uh, western middle and the lower eastern. Let's go ahead and finish out that spot to the west. We have a message. It's getting warm around here. I don't remember this. All right, 
thing. So we have a dead end. It's getting warm around here. I don't remember that at all. It's almost too hot to bear. I have no memory of, of this uh, this event. It's getting really hot. Okay. In here. An encounter. Oh, look at there. It's a dragon. A real dragon, too. That's what a fire dragon. Oh, that's fantastic. I totally forgot that was a thing. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> well, so let's see what we can do, right? We're not, I don't know. We're going to pull out all the stops on this. We're going to do an AC bonus for the party. And we are going to... It's a fire dragon, so let's do a, a Modalto. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll be able to survive this. That wasn't too bad. But I am a little over-leveled, I think. That was cool. A potion. A sword. Oh, let's see what we have. Sword, give to Shorty. Potion, give to Shorty. A Ware Slayer. That's cool. That's a, a cool sword. Potion of Sophic. So that's the, um, I believe that's the AC spell. Ware Slayer, plus 5 to hit, 1d10 plus 1 damage, 2 attack minimum. So Kyler has a Dragon Slayer. Plus 5 to hit 1d8 plus 1. Plus 5 to hit 1d10 plus 1. So yes, we are giving this to Brunalita. And she's going to equip the Wear Slayer. That was awesome. Now to get out of here, right? We found the dragon's hidden hidden den. So cool. So here we go. This is the last spot of the level we've not explored. So far it looks like the other corner. does, doesn't it? Yeah, that was fun. You know, even if I'm out-leveled a little bit, it was still a cool encounter. It was unexpected. And that's always fun. Alright, that doesn't do much to these guys. So we'll hit him with something different. A little better. All right. that failed to disarm the trap. Merlin receives armor. Wilma receives armor. Let's see what they are. Chainmail plus one. Chainmail. Alright. 
is this the essentially the last room for me to explore? I think maybe it is. So I mean, there's a couple steps that I haven't taken, but this this is basically it for the level. There's a hallway up there. I don't think I'm going to worry about that hallway. That was that was fun. Where was the exit? Right there. There's a pit up here. I'm trying to remember. Okay. So I have to go this way. Grrr. Oh. So one was poisoned. We'll fix that real quick and then we'll head back to town. We're going to end the stream here very soon. The goal tonight was to map this out. And that's what we've done. One level a night. At this rate, we'll be done in a few days with the game. Because we have two more main levels here, and then the secret tenth and final level. Of course, we may spend a day or two on level nine. We have to grind a bit. I don't like to fight the final boss until I have every spell in the game. There we go, back to town, safe and sound. So hey, I want to thank again everybody for watching tonight and hanging out. A lot of fun stuff. It's always fun when the devs drop by and we can be useful. Um, it's always fun to see the little secrets in the game, like the fire dragon that I had just completely forgotten all about. Um, it's the little things like that. Last night it was Thundar the Barbarian. That was a lot of fun on level 6. So again, thanks again for watching, and I will see everybody tomorrow night. Everybody have a great evening.